Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, and anyone else who comes along and sees this video. It is um, Saturday, May 30th, 8.34 p.m. And this is one I had not heard anything about, not one little word. And I bet some of you may have seen this, um, but it's by David Hevener. And he is reporting, his channel is called David Hevener Dash Last Evangelist. All right. Uh, he is asking that everybody share this because the Lord told us to do, do not be deceived. Right? And the apostles, they were talking about the temple buildings coming down and the Lord said something about the end and the end of time and the end of days. And well, I could pull it up. It's Matthew 24. Hold on a second. Um, I don't even have to Google that one. Okay. Okay, Matthew 24, 1. Jesus came out from the temple and was going away when his disciples came up to point out the temple buildings to him. Which is odd to me because, of course, he's seen them before. <laughs> I, mean, I always found that kind of odd. And he said to them, Do you not see all these things? Truly, I say to you, not one stone here will be left upon another, which will not be torn down. As he was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Now they're all alone now. Tell us, when will these things happen, and what will be? the sign of your coming, and of the end of the age. Three separate questions. And Jesus answered and said to them, See to it that no one misleads you. Okay, that's verse 4. Now I was reading from the NASB. So the main point of that was to say, Jesus said, See to it that no one misleads you. Or the King James, see to it that you are not deceived. All right, so what is it we might be deceived about? Okay, first of all, I answered a bunch of comments from a video I did a week or so ago talking about Sunday uh, how you could keep Sunday as your Sabbath, or you could keep Saturday as your Sabbath, or something. I would mentioned it in the video. And so there were some people from that denomination that that is just insistent that if you do not keep the Sabbath, you're sinning, and the Sunday worship law will be the mark of the beast. Well, do you see how deceiving that is? Well, here's another one. This is the title of the video. If you can't see it in the description box and get the link, type this in. The mark is so near and most will take it through the mail. David Havener. Have anybody heard this yet? He put it up May 30th. That is today. So you may not have seen it. I had not heard a word about this. And he shows a picture. I'm going to, let's see, let me get to the picture of it. Here it is. It looks like, let me blow it up. Okay, I'm going to take a snapshot right now. They show the person putting it on using those blue gloves. The blue gloves. 
that are what you use when something is particularly, you know, you need to be particularly careful because they're thicker than regular. Unless they're making the regular gloves in navy blue. But see, he, this guy over here working in the lab with a substance in a, in a beaker is wearing those same blue gloves. You see what I'm talking about? And this man has gotten, this is what they're saying now, Bay at the two minute, eight second mark, Bay Area researchers proximity to leading healthcare centers and Silicon Valley has given them a leading role in developing drugs to treat COVID-19. It also, it, whoops, I passed it. It could also give local companies and institutions a leg up in the global race to create a vaccine. Several have set out to create a highly effective product that can be distributed widely. Now with this thing that looks kind of like a band-aid on the outside, it's a circle, and you you just, it, they're not showing the original package that it comes in, unless I missed it and it's in here somewhere. It looks just like a Teflon, Teflon, Tefla, Anyway, a Band-Aid, the kind with the little holes in it, and they're stretchy, and they're, they're real good. Okay, well, it's got hands, all different colored hands. Blue, a blue, three blue arms and hands, four red ones, four yellow ones, four green ones, all going up like it's making a design, like a clock, but yet more than 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 arms. That's just the design. I guess it's showing vaccine for everybody. I don't know. But um, when you put this, see he's putting it on his wrist. This is where the man is showing it going, not his hand. It, it will, the dye will go from the band-aid looking thing into your skin, which puts the vaccine in you and leaves a mark. You then take a picture of the mark and you send it to your health care provider to prove you put it on. That's basically it in a nutshell. Has anybody heard of this? Now, he was saying, David was saying how this, this is going to make the mark look so much less scary. People don't like needles. This is no needles involved. You get it through the mail. You do it yourself. And who isn't all about get? Hey, that that sounds so easy. You just get it in the mail. How could that possibly be the same thing the Bible's talking about? Leaves a mark. You take a picture. You have to send it in to prove. So they have proof. I don't know about you, but uh, I'm not signing up to get one. And I wouldn't. I would send this far and wide and tell. In the subject line, do not be deceived. You know, is this is this it? It could very well be. It just says in the Bible, he will cause big, all people, big and small, uh, rich and poor, doesn't matter who you are, to take this mark so that they can buy and sell. 
so you can work, get your paycheck, bank, get into the store. You see how that's going to work? Leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, I can't see any saying that it we must be cautious. If this does come to pass, if this is the approved, if this ends up being the approved way to get the world vaccinated quickly and easily instead of scaring people with the Chinese military showing up at your door, how how easily did they put us all under house arrest, basically, without police, without anybody making us? We just did it. How many will just do that? Do not be deceived. And of course, You see, this is the hour of temptation that the Lord was talking about in Revelations 3, 10 and 11 that those in the Church of Philadelphia will be spared the hour of temptation to take it. How tempting is that? Just put that thing on your wrist, take a picture, you're good to go. How brilliant. Now, how brilliant. Satan had everybody all scared about getting an injection of this thing. It looks like a piece of glass that's going to make a gruesome sore. Well, who's to say that ink doesn't contain microfibers of um, nanoparticles? That can cause a gruesome sore on your hand or wrist, wherever you put it. Only time will tell, you know, if this thing comes to fruition. I'm just saying it is another option that could possibly be the mark of the beast. It's possible, and it's. I'm just saying, to to avoid it like the plague. All right, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection, over myself and my computer, over each and every one of you and your devices and your internet connections, so that we can stay together until Jesus comes. And I don't see how it can be very much longer. All the signs are, are there. The new world order is definitely in charge. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.